Let's have a look at source C. Remember we're thinking about the impact that the Normans had on the English people. The guiding question revolves around a statement that the Norman invasion was a bad thing and we need to consider how far we agree with that statement. Now source C is taken from a book called The Normans by Brenda Williams and it's written in 2002. However it refers specifically to the period of 1066 and this is when the Norman invasion itself took place. Now, in 1066, this was when the Normans defeated the English, and the Normans killed approximately 20,000 soldiers. The problem was is that the Normans were left with just 10,000 soldiers to control a country of 2 million people. Let's have a look at how, what the Normans did to try and solve this problem. So, when we look at the source... It starts, it, st it states here, in 1066, the Normans were responsible for killing approximately 20,000 English soldiers at the Battle of Hastings, and only had 10,000 soldiers left to control a country of 2 million people. This is obviously significant, but the Normans had a plan, and it ro revolved around being able to build castles out of wood very, very quickly. And it's almost like the Ikea flat pack cupboards that you can get. So you go to Ikea, you get the design, you get the different wood in a very small cardboard box, and then you're able to build something very, very quickly. Now, the Normans actually built a series of what's called Mott and Bailey castles. As you can see here, it's made out of wood. This was obviously very, very easy to get hold of because England was full of forests. Here, everybody, is essentially a village. These Mott and Bailey castles were built um, in surround surrounding towns and also cities. It helped them to do it very, very quickly. Essentially, this hill here was man-made. So they forced the English soldiers, uh, the English people, to build these huge um, mounds that actually became hills. Now, the soldiers would actually stop right at the top, so they could actually look down on the different villages, and this was a method of control. So we see here that William the Conqueror used the strategy of quickly building almost Ikea-style flat pack castles made out of wood and man-made hills that overlook towns to dominate the landscape. And this is really important, to dominate the land landscape. But the impact of this, everybody, was clear from the start, is that the Normans ruled these towns with brutality and killed those who showed signs of rebellion. So when thinking about the impact that they had, this level of brutality actually led to killing another 20,000 people. So we see here, historians believe that up to a further 20,000 people may have died in 1066, with numerous others being beaten and attacked. So like the other sources, we need to refer back to what we're actually investigating. What was the impact of the Norman invasion. Now specifically with source C we need to focus on the short term period. After all it's all about 1066. So this short time period after the Battle of Hastings is really important but let's go back to the Battle of Hastings itself. Remember approximately 20,000 English soldiers died. Now this obviously affected England in a big way. Remember the population was only about 2 million. In addition to that, the Normans had a problem because they only had 10,000 soldiers. So they set up almost Ikea-style castles, which were made out of wood. They weren't intended to last a long time. Now, the consequence of this, everybody, was stark because it led to approximately another 20,000 dead English people because the Normans were renowned for being absolute high levels of brutality and they made it clear that they would not tolerate any rebellions whatsoever. So the overall impact of this, just noticed I've missed a question mark out there, the overall impact of this was clearly very negative but in the short term.